stick around and I'll show you how I made this fiery flame sculpture. I was going to have it as lava splashing, but it, it just turned out so interesting. This is flames, my flaming sculpture. So come along, let's go. So welcome back to my channel. I, a few videos did a water splash sculpture. Now I'm going to do one, um, it's gonna be like a lava splash. So I have my resin mixed. I'm going to just blob that and if you haven't watched that video, please do because it kind of explains, oh, I've got resin on my hand already. It kind of explains the rope, my rope trick. And um, get this resin off. Why I use cellophane paper. I'm gonna put a lot of this in time-lapse because it literally is almost exactly the same as my water splash. So the cellophane goes on top of my ropes and um, somebody asked me how much resin do I, did I mix? So this is uh, 28 ounces of resin. And the other thing I got asked a lot with the other one, how big is my are my circles? So, I mean, they're not complete rounds and I don't really care about that. So it's 11 inches which is, uh, oh gosh, 28 centimeters, you know, ish, sort of round. And the smaller one is 23 centimeters and nine inches. So let's get going. Now the time lapse is going to begin. Okay, so that's that. Move my inks to the side and my black res. Um, this is Naked Fusion resin, exactly the same as my water splash. So I know, and in one of my storage cupboards, which is over to my left, I am now writing down the curing time before draping it on that. So right now I'm just sticking with um, Naked Fusion. Remember when you torch it, don't torch it because the cellophane is so super fragile. I'm gonna leave this for four hours and then I'm gonna come back and drape it over its form. And this time I'm going to drape it over a square base because I want it to sit without a base. So I'll be back. Okay, it's been four hours. I need to put these on their frames or their forms, I should say. So I'm gonna rip the rope out. This one is on its own cellophane. And the same with this one. Oh, I've got so many plastic pieces on this. Take the rope out. 
Gone. Boom. All right, so here's my form. I've got to make sure this is going to be in the screen. So what I have to do really, really quickly is uh, maybe raise you up and zoom you in. Sorry, I hate this. Hate this tripod. Okay, so I am first gonna secure form to the table so it doesn't tip over. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I have secured the form and it's always a nightmare and so I have a square base I'm going to cover let me move this junk out of the way I'm running out of time I'm going to cover the whole form in cellophane because I don't know how much it's going to drip and um, even though, so this was a learning curve. I thought, no, this is not gonna drip. Okay. Lean on me, Pisa, stay. Four hours, liquid resin. No, naked fusion resin. It's the perfect time. And then you take the second layer, which is still on the cellophane, and you place it on top. This is what frustrated me in the past. Like, I was like, no, it's not gonna drip. But it did, it dripped. It was amazing. So, the other thing I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to cut some cellophane. I don't think this is in the screen. If it's not, I apologize. All I'm doing is cutting some, literally some cellophane. And I'm gonna put it right on the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some heavy one heavy like base thing to just like make it square and overnight this will drip this is all my crystals so i'm gonna put this on the top to make it have a flat bottom and um, this looks kind of like bridal um, this wool drip. I was amazed. The last one I left, I was like, no, it's not going to happen. But it does really, really slowly. So praise, 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 drip. Drip dreams. Do your thing. And um, we will see you in the morning. Time for the big reveal. Uh, didn't drip exactly as I had planned and it was four hours but I mean it could have a lot to do with room temperature and I don't know you know resin has a mind of its own so let me take it off its form I 
nice. You can see. Let me see if I can show you. It's got a nice square bottom. So one thing I'm going to do is get rid of this. Because we don't need this in our way. Oh, it came off the, the square vase okay. Let's see. This is always a tricky bit. Getting the two pieces to separate. Tear as much of the plastic, the uh, cellophane as I can. I might have to warm it up and play with it for a bit. I mean, I guess a few bits dripped. Sort of interesting. Sort of. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. Resin has a mind of its own, literally. But it does stand up on its own, so I don't need to do a base. Uh, okay. Really shiny. I love this cellophane. I'm going to cut this. All right, so this is... Oh, it's difficult to know where it begins and ends. I think I will be melting most of this cellophane. Which is another reason I love it. It's not only shiny, but it, it's like magic. It disappears. So this is on, this is on the bottom because I stood the jar of beads, no, uh, jar of crystals on it. So I'm going to try and get this up. Okay, these two pieces are not coming apart. Tell you that much. I know it. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my bones. Or is it my toes? Uh, I think I can get most of this out, actually. Right, I'm going to fiddle with this off camera because this is like watching grass grow for you but it is actually going to look quite spectacular happy finally i got all the plastic the cellophane out it was tricky and i couldn't get the pieces apart so i had to keep zapping with my heat gun and my torch until I got all the pieces out. And it's so interesting. I love it. And I could even put a candle in there. Super shiny. My little lava splash or, you know, fire. Fire sculpture. That's what I'm going to call it. Flames. Anyway, what I love about resin is you never quite know what is going to happen. I think I'm going to take you to a better window and we can see it in all its glory. I've brought you outside to the bottom of my garden. Might see some otters. We've got families of otters and beavers around here. So here it is in all its glory. Now you can see it in the daylight. Let me turn it around. It's so interesting. It definitely looks like flames. I love it. Love, love, love.
So thanks for watching. This will be on my Etsy store. So don't forget to check that out. Link in the description below. And see you next time.